Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to another episode of Flying with Chris. And in this episode, I'm going to show you what I've kind of ended up with as a good setup for a GoPro camera for filming within the cockpit. So all the bits and pieces are here, I'll just talk you through some of these. So we've got the uh, Joby suction cup, which actually comes uh, with one of these uh, bendy arms when you actually buy it. And it comes with this fitment that screws on the end of the, uh, I think it's called a Gorilla Pod arm. So we've got the Joby suction cup. I've got a thread converter, um, a kind of male to male. And then on that, I've put two plumbing washers and I'll come into why I've done that in a minute. I've also got this kind of like a 360 degree ball joint head, which makes things so much easier when you're trying to position the camera in the plane. There's then this attachment, as I say, which goes on to the end of the ball joint adapter. We then fix the GoPro. Uh, this is a GoPro Hero 7, and it, that's a particularly good one to buy because it's got stabilization, stabilization in it. And then we attach to the GoPro an ND filter. And that basically means that you can have the shutter open longer and it lets more light in. And that will give you a better quality of picture and reduce some of the propeller effect and some of the the vibration and kind of wobbly effect that you get sometimes with the gopros and then obviously the, the lens cover or the filter cover and the nd filter and the lens protector help protect the gopro as well right so let's assemble this all together so basically we have this and we attach the male to male adapter and the reason i've got the two plumbing washers on there is to absorb some of the vibration and that's one of the key things when you're trying to set these cameras up is trying to find a place where the vibration is the least you you can have because that does affect the kind of wobbliness of the camera uh, i'll link also to another video done by martin paul who does a good job of explaining how to do that but in effect you kind of just fill with your hand to see where the vibration is least and then attach your camera there. And it's almost worth sacrificing the position of the camera to get less vibration. And I'm still learning all that kind of stuff, but it's certainly a good approach to that. So we've attached the male to male adapter. We then attach the ball joint onto the top of there. This can all be nice and tight. And then we attach the Joby GoPro adapter onto there as you see there. So we've, we've now kind of assembled to that point. We now need to attach the GoPro and that's pretty straightforward. So we'll attach the GoPro onto there. There you go, Let's screw that through. And then the actual uh, ND filter comes with like a blue kind of square clip and it's quite straightforward actually. And it just kind of clips onto the actual front of the GoPro. And it's quite solid. I was quite surprised by that. And then obviously the lens cover sits on the top. So that's great for transporting everything because these things do get beaten around a little bit, but in effect, that's what you end up with. Uh, the Joby mount, the adapter, the ball joint, 360 degree ball joint, GoPro adapter, thread to GoPro, the GoPro, and then the ND filter as well. So why does this work so well? Or why does it work so well for me? So, okay, I'll show you why. On the left-hand side here is the ball joint adapter. Imagine you've attached this to the window or somewhere in the aircraft, probably a window, a door, a screen, or something like that. You literally just need to undo this. And because the top of the ball joint moves as well, you can adjust where you want it to point, whether you want it to point it as say the pilots, there you go, done in seconds. Perhaps you wanted to adjust it so that it pointed out the window. Move that around like that. Done. And you can see it's just so quick to do. So that's my kind of preferred setup and it allows you to kind of adjust it, you, you know, with, in, in all the different axes and as far as it's worked for me, it doesn't stick too well to the table, but these things stick so well to a window, a door window or a screen. Uh, so I've been really pleased with these. So basically I operate with four of these now and I'm not disappointed with those at all. As to whether the rubber 
kind of washers do much in terms of vibration. I think so, um, but it, it, it's an ongoing issue to try and reduce the vibration. So there we are, that's how I set up the, the basic setup using a ball joint. And I find that really quick. And it's all about speed because when you get into the aircraft to set the camera up, filming the flights is obviously secondary to what you're looking to do. Flying safe is everything, flying is the primary objective, and to be able to just attach the camera to the window, under it, adjust it, done, fixed. You don't even need to think about that again now. That will stay there. So for me, that's perfect. And then if you are in flight, you can of course change it quite quickly. What did that take? Two seconds to change the angle of the camera. So when I first started, I was using these sorts of things with the arm and they're just to make any kind of adjustment you have to unstick it from the window and then you have to undo this you have to undo that and turn it and when I compare that to this which is that done for me it's a, a no contest thing these things just just work so well when you've got this kind of arrangement as well I also use a similar setup, which is using these, which is a, virtually the same setup. Uh, this is a Hero 4, but what I do with that, they're attached to these other Joby mounts. I've still got the male-to-male uh, -male connector in there, plus the washer, which helps with the dampening, I think. But the, the main difference is that in flight, if I want to make a quick adjustment, this one I tend to keep attached to the window near me. They're tight, but not too tight. And I can make adjustments in the, in the pitch. Um, and I guess in, in the yaw and the roll as well, just quite easily just being able to turn the camera around one handed. Uh, so, so I've got two different types for that. And I find these quite good because you can then attach. So the GoPro would be attached to here, but you can attach off of it some other arms, maybe for a phone or something like that. And quite incredibly, the suction onto the window does really hold these and it will hold the weight of a phone and even a couple of GoPros. So uh, I find these really good. So they're the Joby suction cups. So look, what I'll do, I'll put a link to all these bits and pieces uh, down below and I'll put a blog post on the website that shows uh, a bit more about how these uh, component parts go together and that kind of thing. So thanks for watching. Hope you found that interesting. And coming up next, we'll do the uh, audio in the next video, how to connect the audio up.